Hello everyone and uh, welcome to this tutorial to install DiPi on uh, Mac OS X. So the first goal to install DiPi will be to install a Python environment and for that we'll uh, use uh, we'll use Anaconda. So for doing so what I will do is I will open a browser. So here I can use uh, Safari, uh, you can use uh, Chrome or whatever and then uh, type uh, and uh, search for Anaconda. So here I will type Python Anaconda to make sure I'm be able to download it. And you can see that this pop up directly the free download of Anaconda. So I will click on this link. And here you can see that you have a free access to uh, this description named Anaconda. And uh, yeah. So you can see that Anaconda is a solution that contains many uh, package already installed will be a SciPy, NumPy, Dask, TensorFlow, etc. etc. So it contains a ton of open source and uh, scientific package. So let's click uh, on download for our specific uh, operating system. So here I'm on Mac. So I will decide to on download on Mac. And since I have a Mac M1, I will go directly with the M1, M2, M3 version. So I click on download. He asked me if I'm sure that I want to download and allow that. And you can see that on this icon here, the download start. So the download can take some time depending, depending on your uh, internet connection. Uh, you can see that here is going uh, quite fast on my side and uh, I will just wait for it that it's finished to download. So, okay, it seems to be uh, almost done. So now I click on the link here, download to see my file. And you can see that now I have a new file named Anaconda3 and the Mac OS X. So I will click on it, double click on it. And when you double click on it, so I will close my browser since now I don't anymore need my browser. Okay. And you can see that after clicking on it, I have um, these windows to install Anaconda. So the first is an introduction. So now we click to continue. Here's a readme that I will read, of course. And you can see that all the packages that will be installed here. So uh, it's quite huge. And because there is a lot of packages, the installation can take some time. So that's why we recommend you to do it in advance. An important information is that we are using Python 3.11 here, as you can see here. So that's great because it's one of the most recent Python. So I continue. There's a license agreement that you can read. Continue and agree. So that's the problem of Anaconda. You can see that here it will take four gigabyte of space of my computer. So this is quite huge because it installs really a ton and tons and tons of library. Of course, there is different alternative if you want, but for now we recommend you that that it will be the simpler way, the simplest way to install a DiPi. So I can of course decide to change the location where. I install it for but for now we just install it for me so let's click on install and here's the installation uh, start to run so normally the installation time can take up to five minutes so i might cut this video during the installation and restart when the vid when the installation finished Okay, so now you can see that um, you have multiple windows who appear once the installation is finished. So you can see that uh, you have first these little windows here who tell you that uh, you can continue and tell you that you can continue to uh, finish the installation. So I will recommend you to click on continue here. Okay. 
and then uh, it gives you the summary to tell you that the Coda installation is uh, installed and that is perfect. So now you can close this uh, thing and move to trash the installer. Okay. So now the, up, the application gives you an update to tell you that there is a new version of Navaconda that is uh, available and you don't need to make the update right now. So what we will do is we will click on no remind me later. And of course, it will propose you to sign up to Anaconda data. And in this case, we don't really need this. So we will close this Anaconda data. So you can see that the Anaconda navigator, this uh, have already many, many pre-installed packages. Okay, you can see that there is VS Code, there is AWS, there is data store, there is so many different packages, uh, which is a great news. So for now, I will hide this Windows Anaconda. Hopla, sorry. I will hide this Windows. And what we will make sure to, we'll make sure that Anaconda is well installed by opening a terminal. So to open a terminal, I will click on, I will type a pom command space, okay? And I will ask to open a new terminal here, okay? So when I hit enter, you can see that my terminal here is opened. So let me increase here. Okay. And you will notice that here there is a new keyword that appears named base. And this is a sign that Anaconda is installed. So to make sure that Anaconda is installed, you will type the Anaconda com command, which is conda. So for example, we can type conda minus minus version and you can see that anaconda version appear to you which is a great news you can also list all the conda versions so you can all the conda package installed so you can click type conda and list okay and it will take and it will tell all the package that are installed on this environment which is great So now, so now we want to install DiPy. How do we do it? You just need to type pip install DiPy. So by doing so, you press enter and you can see that a lot of installation is running. Okay. So when you finish to install, Okay, you have this information here, especially here, that is successfully installed some packages and you can be see that on this list, there is DiPy 1.8.0. So for this uh, tutorial right now is DiPy 1.8.0, but maybe later you will have a newer version of DiPy. So that is a great new. Now DiPy is installed for you. So the best way to check it is to check if the DiPy command line are available for you. To do so, you just need to tap DiPy underscore and you hit the tab. Okay. And unfortunately here, it doesn't show up the command line, but you can tap DiPy info. Okay and you do minus H. By tapping this command line, you can see that the DiPy command line are completely available here. So which is a very, very, very great news. Another way to know where are all the command line is just to, ty to type which DiPy info. By typing that, it tell you where is the destination of all DiPy. So you can see that they are in user, my name, Anaconda, bin, and DiPy info. So the bin directory is where are all the DiPy tutorials. The DiPy command line, sorry, not tutorials. So to get the list of all DiPy command line, I would recommend you to first go to DiPy website. So open. 
a browser again and then go to the website dipy.org so here are the dipy website okay great and i want to know all the list of the command line so what i will do is i will go to doc here and i will go to cli api and in CLI API, you can see that you have all the list of command line that you can use with DiPy. So for example, here, if I see there is a DiPy online affine. So here on the terminal, if I type DiPy online affine, and I type minus H to know all the command line, all the information, you can see that they all appear here. Okay. So the documentation that you see here from the, this command line appear here in a tutorial to see, in a, to get more information, what it is and how to use it. You also have some tutorial of the command line that you can see here. So I'm going to doc CLI workflow. So command line workflow. And here you have an introduction of each command line, how to use them and how and how to play with those two command lines. So that's all, die by install for you. Uh, let me know if you need more information. Of course, you can be, uh, use a more uh, developer way to use DiPy, meaning that you can open um, uh, an editor. So for example, we could uh, simply go to the documentation with all the tutorials, right? Then go to the quick start. I will go with the first tutorial here. I click on it and you can see that there is the tutorial explaining the first script of DiPy if you want to code in Python. At the end of this tutorial, you can download the file here. So let's download it. So hello the download. and the file is downloaded as you can see here. So I will open the, the finder to see where is the file. And I can see there's a download here. To open this file, I will need an editor and to be able to run it. The best way, the best way editor that we recommend to use is Visual Studio Code. So for that, I will return back to the Anaconda, Anaconda, um, starter that we saw last time so here you see and if you remember we had here visual studio code 1.86 so i will click on launch and this opened me an editor with visual studio code so since this is the first time he asked me uh, which style i want uh, me personally i prefer the dark the dark uh, model so i will select this one okay Uh, then he asks you which language do do you uh, do you like? Uh, I mean, he asks you many different packages. Uh, for me, if, uh, in here in this case, we say that we like Python, so we select Python to install. We can install also uh, Jupyter, and we can also C and C++, which can be useful. So. All of this is installed, okay? And we can select a Python interpreter. So here, when we click on select a Python interpreter, you can see that our Anaconda here that we just installed is here. So we select it to make sure that he always use this Anaconda. So now that all of, all of this is done, we just need to slide our script We just need to slide the script that we just download to the to the editor. So hello uh, the access. Okay, hello. And you can see that our script here 
is present okay with all the code so if we want to run it we just need to click on the run button here and our script will run and we can edit it as we did or not so so that's all i hope uh, you enjoy uh, this uh, quick tutorial on how to install dipy uh, as a summary what you need to do is first open the browser download anaconda install anaconda then open a terminal like we saw here let me hide all the others okay open a terminal make sure that you install pip install dipy and that's all thank you for listening uh, this uh this uh, quick tutorial and um, see you for the next uh, tutorial thank you Bye-bye.